Hello everyone, welcome back to Yatesh class one more time. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about Magic Jelly Beans Key Finder. Uh, it will find the keys for our products for us so we can have them all in one file or we can print it and have it on one place. So we're gonna talk about this uh, program a little bit. I'm gonna give you the pros and the cons of the programs. I'm gonna give you my personal opinion about it. And then we're gonna watch a little short video um, how this program works. So let's get to it. So my jelly bean key finder. I did my research and it's one of the better free key programs for finding keys. My personal opinion, that's not uh, real. Um, thing is, it's pretty limited. So uh, we'll talk about that in just one sec. Pros. Pro key are found immediately, immediately, nothing to run. So you can just run this program and you will find the, pro, uh, the keys for you. You don't have to run any other uh, complicated thing. Uh, software package is very small, making it really quick to download. It's really small, it's about 1 max, 2 max uh, for the software. Uh, multiple options available to save power uh, product keys. So you can print it, you can save it as txt or csv file. Uh, finds product keys for many software programs, not just for Windows. So you can find Windows, Office, uh, and any other, um, other programs. Uh, this tool is free. Uh, this version we're talking about is the free version. So we're gonna talk about the free version specifically. Uh, the Windows registration information can be easily changed. Yeah, you can change some aspects about uh, the registry on the Windows. It's pretty limited though. Don't you be thinking, oh, I'm gonna hack uh, the Windows registry. No, um, it allows you to do a couple things, but it's not like a really big, big thing. Uh, if you have the proper, uh, the proper network access, you can identify product keys for other computers on your network. So if you have access to C Windows on a computer on your network, you can connect to it and you can find the product key for that computer. Allows you to save as TXT, CSV, uh, allows allows you to modify uh, some info on the racer. Uh, you can print with it. The cons. Uh, maybe when you install this program, I didn't have this problem, but when you install this program, you can have some problems with uh, it will try to install some crappy things from from other uh, like advertising and that kind of stuff. I didn't have that problem. I download the application right from the uh, publisher website, and I it didn't have that problem. Uh, problem uh, the problem try to get you to install needless software during installation. That's what we were talking about. Uh, the first one is some antivirus can recognize this as a virus of Trojan. Um, just ignore it. It doesn't really so when. Uh, does not find your Microsoft Office 2010 Plus product keys. That means it won't find your uh, Microsoft Office 2013 or 2016 or 365 product key. For that one, you will need to either, either buy the Pro version or uh, get another key uh, from the program. And there is no portable version, so you have to install this software on any computer that you want to find the keys for, for your programs. Uh, unless you have, as we talked before, access through the network. So now we're gonna watch a really short video how we can use this program and what information it will show to us. I'm gonna, gonna see the video here. So that will be the serial key or the serial number. Uh, you will find all information like the computer num name uh, then you can go and save it as a txt file a csv file you can also print it if you have a printer connected to your computer so let's say if you have a list of 20 programs there with the keys you can print the 20 programs with the key and all the information from it uh, on one paper uh, does it register modification uh, I didn't run the program as administrator, so it didn't allow me to change anything on it. As, as you can see, that's where you go on the network and you try to 
get the keys for another uh, computer. There is a website, uh, it's completely free, that's the last version of this program. I hope if, if you want to give it a try, just try it out, see what, what can happen. You can get your keys uh, in case you need to reinstall your computer. So that's pretty much for this video guys, I hope you like it. Uh, if you did, uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share with your friends.